Aztecs, nice headline. Next stop, Boston. Sweet 16. Thank you, Jaden Ledee. You know, there's a big distance between San Diego and New Haven, Connecticut. Big distance between the level of player in the Mountain West and the kids that play in the Ivy League. Yale's head coach, James Jones, he found out on Sunday, you're not playing Princeton or Harvard or Brown anymore. The Bulldog players found out what a real first-round draft pick looks like in Jaden Ledee. San Diego State, 10-0 lead right out of the gate. 11-0 spurt later in the first half. Ledee went crazy. He hit every type of shot. They had nobody to confront him. Wound up with 15 points in the first 12 minutes. The bench bunch hit three-point shots. They shot 60% in the first half of the game. Opened up a massive 21-point lead. Yale went six minutes without a basket. They had six mixed field goals, two turnovers, blowout city all of a sudden. Here's a weird stat. You know the term I use, Jekyll and Hyde? Oh, yeah. San Diego State, going into March Madness, was ranked 306th in three-point efficiency. Oh, my God. And they hit 13 threes. <laughs> 13 threes after being 306th in the nation. Ladee finished with 26. Darian Trammell, where'd this come from? 18 points. And, of course, the Aztecs not only hit 13 threes, they had 48 rebounds in the game. Wound up shooting 55%. On to Boston. We go to the Sweet 16. And just ahead, that's UConn, 33-3. and three, The guys who played in the championship game last year. This is a really tough assignment. San Diego State <coughs> did not get home till 4 o'clock Monday morning. So they got a limited window of practice on Monday. They'll have whatever full practice they have on Tuesday. They'll have a bit of a walkthrough on Wednesday. They didn't get on a plane, and they go to Boston. They have to play Thursday at 4.40 p.m. This is a really short work week, and not only short work week, limited time to recover, limited time to practice game plan, you're going to Boston, which means everybody in the arena will probably be wearing Yukon blue and white. Right. I mean, this is going, this is going to be a really tough road trip. Uh, there's no doubt San Diego State has earned it. I don't know if they've got enough firepower to match up with the UConn because UConn is just stomping everybody they're playing right now. So, John, I watched it. I enjoyed it. I think we say thank you, Jaden Ladee. I don't know if there's another game after Thursday's game. We got to love Sweet 16 two years in a row. Yeah. I mean, that's that's nice, you know, and it's not like the the championship game. That moment was, you know, it wasn't as if that that was a one-time thing, right? You know, so the Aztecs are back in the mix. And you look at all the other teams that are in the Sweet 16, a lot of blue bloods in there, a lot of longtime performers. So good on San Diego State. But it got a little squirrely there in that first game against UAB. Yeah. I, I got kind of nervous but, you know, Dutcher and the boys, they said they had the confidence from the experience from last year. Well, Terry, their ability to make make adjustments midstream against UAB, because that coaching staff changed up their defenses virtually every other trip down the floor. San Diego State was looking at something different defensively. Yeah. And that's why they struggled. And that's why there were so many turnovers in the alabama Birmingham game, because there was no rhythm and flow, because they're looking, is that, is that a zone? Is that a 1-3-1 zone? Is that a box and one? against Ladee, and then suddenly they couldn't hit shots and they're throwing the ball away, and they were forcing things, trying to run it up the floor, but they gathered it back in. And at the end of the day, Ladee did what Ladee always does. He's fouling out all your big men. Yeah, all he, of them. He did it to UAB. He obviously did it to Yale. I give Yale a lot of credit. I could see how they could own the Ivy League because they do have athletes, they do have size, they do have quickness, and they ran some schematic stuff with backdoor passes to say, wow. I can understand them blowing everybody in the Ivy League out. San Diego State struggled for chunks of time with some of the pick and rolls and backdoor stuff, and then they made some adjustments, and that took Yale out of the game. So on we go. That's San Diego State, Boston, Thursday afternoon. That is the Yukon Huskies. Holy so the crypt is the kryptonite problem solved, Lee? Well, it was on Sunday. Yeah. I have huge reservations at Jekyll and Hyde. If they still can repeat there. that, though, if they can repeat that on Thursday, I think the Aztecs have a shot. Against UConn? They came close in the championship game. They got it down to five in the in the second half. Against the 33-3 and three UConn team. Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, they, they, they beat number one overall seed Alabama last year. You're entitled to wear your heart on your sleeve. I have no problem with that. I'm just dealing with some realities of what I see. Okay, let's talk about.